G'day Internet, my name is Andrew Russell and I'm an indie game developer from Australia and today I'm going to show you uh, the second video in my series of videos about uh, developing my game. Uh, I haven't come up with a name for my game yet, uh, but that doesn't matter. Um, this one's going to be a particularly uh, developer-centric video. I'm going to show you a really cool little tip that you can use if you uh, use XNA or just, shoot, uh, just C Sharp uh, in Visual Studio. Uh, so if you're a game developer or just any old developer, this is one for you. Uh, so let's cut over to the desktop now and I'll show you my little trick. So, um, first of all, here we have uh, my game. Uh, not very exciting at the moment. We've got a little cat girl creature who moves around. Uh, and say I want to make a change. Oh, she's too, she's too white. Let's make her red. Uh, red. Ah, and she's red. Simple as that. So that's the trick I'm going to show you today. Um, so how do I do this magical thing? Well, let's show you how to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, well, the really old-fashioned way is oh, we hit close, and we, we change this to let's change it to white, and then we hit run, and then we have to come back to the program. Ah, and look, and there it is. And I'll move it over to the side so you can see the code again. And so I have to move this back to where it was, and then she's all the way back here. So if this was an actual game, I've lost all my progress. And it's a huge pain in the ass. So the first way to make this better is to run over here and add a breakpoint, uh, which will almost immediately get hit because it's on the, on the uh, rendering code path. And then I change, make my change, red. Uh, and then I turn off the breakpoint, uh, and then I hit run again. And now she's red. So that's a little bit faster. So that uses uh, Edit and Continue, which works pretty well in C Sharp and Visual Studio. Uh, there's a couple of situations where it won't work, which is a bit annoying. Um, but most of the time it does work, and so that is good enough for me. So uh, setting that breakpoint and then editing is a bit of a pain in the neck, and it won't work up here because, say, I want to change the way she moves, and I hit uh, stop here, and oh, wait, that's on the update code. Um, that's not getting hit because she's not moving at the moment. Uh, so I'd have to make a move to make that hit. So that's the problem. So the way I solve this problem is I hit break all. And oh, now I have to go navigate back to where I was. And uh, then I can make my change. So let's, let's say position equals da, 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 alpha. Let's say position equals 0 0.5, which is a really stupid edit, but. Um, It'll work for now. So look, she clicks over into place. Click, 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 click. That's really ugly. So what I can do to speed up that process uh, is use the shortcut keys. So first of all, first shortcut key, Control Alt Break, Break All. Now I can navigate backwards by hand, but uh, there's actually a button called Navigate Backwards, which is really good. Uh, so we we'll use this one. Uh, and we'll use the shortcut key for this too, it's control minus. And now I'm back where I was. And now I can make the change to, let's change it back to what it was, because that was sensible. So, and I hit run. Now, if I could hit those shortcut keys in quick succession, that would be great. But those are the stupidest shortcut keys ever invented for doing this quickly. Uh, they're hardly shortcuts at all, because they're so obtuse. So. Uh, what I'm going to do instead, now I could rebind these keys to something uh, useful and close together, so I just go click click uh, on the two uh, rebound keys and do it that way. Uh, that would work. Um, Visual Studio has a lot of keys, so I'm always worried about rebinding them that I'm going to override some other key combination. So I've got an alternate method, and that allows me to do this like that very quickly, and that is to bind it to a spare button on my mouse. So, uh, the, I happen to have a Logitech 10 button mouse thing. Uh, that's pretty cool. And it's got this dinky little button down here that I'll never use for anything else. So, I've come up with a macro Visual Studio Edit in place. And the macro looks like this first, there's a left click to uh, focus the window, uh, which will be Visual Studio. And then Control Alt Break, and those keys come up. And then Control Minus, and then the macro is done. Um, you don't need to stick a delay in between any of these, uh, it just seems to work as is. So, uh, what I just could do is my mouse comes over here and I hit that spare button, and then I type in whatever I like. Let's say green this time. Green, it will be a lot 
lot faster if I was typing quickly. And I've hit save, and it's thinking, I don't know why. Anyway, and then run. So that's pretty cool. So I come over here and make it uh, pink. Uh, no, I don't like pink. Let's make it uh, black. 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 Okay. It's kind of hard to talk and type at the same time, I find. Um, so I could be quicker. Let's make it brown. Uh, yeah, brown's, brown's kind of brown. So let's change it back to white. And let's make her really big. Ha ha! Yes! Awesome! Mecha cat girl. Only she's not really mechanical, she's just huge. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a bit stupid, so let's change it back to that. But say I uh, well, let's show you this thing before where I couldn't edit it with a breakpoint. Actually hit my button. Smooth step. Ah, so I've added a smooth step there and now, oh, she jumps between things like that. That's kind of cool. And okay, let's turn that one off as well. So, and now we're back to normal. Um, so that's a really cool way you can experiment with the code while it's running um, and while using Visual Studio and C Sharp without having to, you know, write any complicated sort of secondary compilery bits and pieces, which um, is kind of cool, but enormously a uh, pain in the ass to program. So it's not worth the effort. Um, okay, so. That was um, my little developer tip for you this week. Uh, next week, I'm going to have a look at the networking that I have been doing for this game. Um, so hang around. Uh, well, yeah, not for a whole week. Uh, you can you can go and do other stuff. Uh, but in a week or so, I'll have that video up. Uh, so if you want to find out when that uh, happens, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you can subscribe to my blog at andrewrussell.net. Or you can follow me on Twitter at underscore Andrew Russell. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.